Today we're going to learn how to create a simple star rating component which is fairly customizable. You can choose which icons you want to use, whether they are text based like these stars or these hearts, or if they are emoji or image based like these emojis here. You can choose how many icons are going to be displayed, so is it a 5 out of 5 rating or 10 out of 10 rating or something in between. I'm also going to show you how to preserve the rating that you've selected, so if we select 5 out of 5 stars and we refresh, the rating is going to stay there. There are no additional plugins required and we can jump straight into it. I'm going to start in a new React project but you can either choose to start in a new React project as well or you can just add this to your own project. It's a really simple component so I just removed everything that I don't need and I left just the basics. So we have the app JSX which is just returning a hello world. We have an app CSS which is an empty CSS file. We have the regular main JSX which isn't changed at all and I created files for my component which are called stars.jsx and stars.css the CSS is going to be super light for starters we are going to add some CSS to our app CSS and this is just to set up the background and set up the colors and also to make everything nice and centered if you are using this in your own project you probably won't need this basically we're just setting the background to a dark gray color font color is being set to white we are setting the width margins and aligning everything to center and we are stretching the height to fill the the screen and centering everything with flex we are going to go back to star css once we get to making the component in our stars component we are just going to initialize this as a functional component and let's just do return div stars here we don't need this but we need to import our our CSS so we're just gonna say stars dot CSS and in the app JSX we are going to say import stars and we're going to remove this and remove this and we're just going to say stars now we just have the stars being implemented here as i've said the component is going to be fairly customizable so we are going to have some props the component is going to have some default behavior so even if you don't add anything to it by default going to show you a star rating component with five stars which are all set to zero and with some predefined values so as for the props we want to add count default rating icon color and icon size we are also going to import use state here because we are going to handle some state so import use state from react and as i said we are going to set some predefined values if we don't enter anything these are what's going to be used so we're going to say cons default count which is going to be equal to five we are also going to add a default icon which which is going to be equal to a star you will We'll need to copy paste this from somewhere i just found it on the internet on a website for symbols just search for star symbols and you will get the website that you can copy paste this from and we are going to have two properties for the color so default unselected color and we are going to set this to gray and we are also going to say const default color equals yellow so i don't want to complicate with you know different colors we're just going to use gray and yellow so what this means is when the when none of the icons are selected so when the component has the rating of zero the icons are going to be grayed out and if we select an icon or we select a rating let's say three out of five three icons are going to be yellow and the other are going to stay gray so this is for our default example where we are using stars as for the use state we are going to have two states here and they're going to be rating and we are going to use state and we are going to pass in the default rating from over here so if there is a default rating we are going to set it to use state and we are going to pass the default rating from the local storage where I'm going to show you how to save your ratings this is obviously not something that you should do in production this is just for this examples purpose it's going to show you in theory how this would work in your own case you would ping your own database and save stuff in your own database and we're going to have a similar thing here with temporary rating and and set 
temporary rating which is going to be use state and temporary rating is going to be zero temporary rating is something that we're going to use while we are hovering over our component so we can see the visual representation of the rating that you want to give or to save and the final rating is going to be stored in the rating here so in order to do anything we need to figure out how to set up the amount of stars that we are going to need or the amount of icons so we are going to set up a variable here called stars which is going to be an array and inside of an array we can pass in as a parameter how many items do we want the array to have and we can say either count or the default count so what this means is either we are passing in our own count as a prop or we are using a default count of five and in the end we are going to say fill and we are going to pass in the icon this is technically irrelevant you can just use a number here or whatever you want so this just means we are creating an array that has this many elements and we are filling it with these items we are filling it with the icon Icon. if there is no icon we are filling it we can fill it with the default icon or whatever so I can just say icon or the default icon but largely it's irrelevant we just need to you know have the proper amount of elements that we need to map through and this needs to be stars and not start so instead of just returning stars we are going to say class name equals stars container and we are going to remove this and we are going to map through the stars so we need to add the curly braces and say stars dot map and in the braces we're going to say item arrow and then we can continue with our function this here is also irrelevant like i said we are adding items but we don't care what items are in there basically but what we do care about is the item index so we're going to add index here and for now we are just going to return a div which has a class name of star it has a key of index and inside we are just going to say if there is an icon so icon question mark we are going to use that icon if there is no icon we're going to say colon use default icon and as you can see this already works so we are returning some stars and now i'm just quickly going to jump into the css to set up the container so we have our component visually looking like it's supposed to we are just going to say stars container and we're going to say display of flex for star we are going to say cursor is going to be pointer and we are going to set the transition to all 0.1 seconds linear and on hover we are going to say star hover transform scale and we are going to say 1.1 so we just want to add a small effect that when we hover over the star we want to bump it up in size a little bit and that's pretty much it for the css let's first make these stars a little bit bigger so we are going to say tiles and in the tiles we're going to say font size and we are going to say if there is an icon size we are going to say back ticks dollar sign curly braces icon size and outside we're going to say px for pixels and if there is no icon size we are going to say as a string let's say 14 pixels pixels and this isn't styles this is just style so these are now 14 pixels but we can go back and say icon size equals let's say 100 and immediately it's way bigger and we can see more easily what's happening here now we need to decide which item needs to be colored and which item doesn't need to be colored when we hover over the fourth element we want to color the first four elements and we want to leave the fifth one grayed out so how do we determine that inside of the math function we are going to add a helper property called is active color so what is the situation in which the icon has to have a color we either need to have the rating set or the temporary rating set so either we already have a rating or we are hovering and we are temporarily setting a rating so let's put that here so rating or 
temporary rating. And we also need to have another thing. So we're going to say and our index. So the index of the item through which we are currently iterating needs to be lower value than the rating or the temporary rating. So let me just write that down and then I'm going to explain it. So index is lower than rating or index is lower than temporary rating. And we're going to hit save. So what does this mean? Our first index here is going to be zero. Let's say our rating has already been set to, let's say, one. This means that the first star needs to be colored because our index value starts from zero and we have zero, one, two, three, four for the five elements. And we say the first element is zero. It's lower than the rating, which is one. So we need to add color to this one and the rest are going to stay grayed out. The same principle applies for all the other elements as well and for all other ratings as well. Now that we know which elements need to have some color, we are also able to say which color that is going to be. So we are going to say let element color equals and we're just going to initialize it with an empty string. And we are going to say if is active color we are going to say element color equals color or our default color. So this means either we have passed in a color as a prop or we are going to use the default color, which is yellow. Else we will say element color equals our default unselected color, which is gray. And now we can use this here and just say color element color. And you can see immediately all the elements are grayed out because we are currently not selecting any rating. We didn't implement it yet. But this is going to work just for the text based icon. So this is currently a font character and uh, this won't work for an emoji. So if I go back to app JSX and I say icon equals this flower here, we are going to have five flowers which are going to be in full color. So how do we handle this use case? We are simply going to add a filter here in our style. So we are going to say filter and we are going to say backticks dollar sign curly braces is active color question mark. So if we do have an active color, that means we don't need to gray out anything. So we are just going to say gray scale and we're going to pass in 0%. And if there is no active color or rather the icon isn't selected, the rating isn't that high, we need to gray it out. So we're going to say gray scale and we're going to pass in 100%. And when I hit save, immediately everything grays out. So this will now handle both the emoji type icons and the text based icons. We can add additional props here, which say on mouse enter. And we are going to say curly braces and we are going to call a function and we are going to say set temporary rating to index plus one. And when we hit save, we can see the icons are now being colored appropriately. We are setting index plus one because like we said, index starts from zero and for one, the index is zero. So zero plus one equals one. For two, it would be index of one plus one equals two, etc., etc. So this sets the temporary state. But as you can see, the temporary state stays what it has been after we remove our mouse from the component. So we need to fix that. And we can add additional prop here, which says on mouse leave equals, and we are going to once again call set temporary rating to zero. So now when we hover over, let's say the fourth one, it sets it to four, but when we remove the mouse, it sets it back to zero. So that's working as intended. And the final thing that we need to do is when we click on the item, we want the rating to stay where we clicked it. So we are going to add an on click prop and we are going to call a function called handle click and we are going to pass in once again index plus one. So we currently don't have handle click. We are going to add it above the return statement. So const handle click equals and we are going to have the rating here. So rating and we are simply going to say set rating to rating 
and now and now when we hover over the icons they are behaving normally when we remove the mouse from the component it sets the temporary ranking to zero but when i click the ranking stays put at four when i get back there when i click on a two it sets it back to two when i go back in there again click it sets it back to five but when i refresh we lose everything so now we're going to take a look at how we can at least temporarily preserve the rating and it's very easy we can just use local storage so we just say local storage set item and we are going to say let's call it star rating and let's set it to rating so this will save the currently selected rating to a local storage once again you should not do this in production because all of your ratings are going to have the same value this is just for the purposes of this example you should handle this on your own end in your database or wherever you're keeping track of your ratings and to get the default rating we need to go back to app.jsx and we need to say const default rating equals local storage get item and we are going to say star rating and we are going to pass in that default rating as a prop here so now when i click and select a four and hit refresh we are going to have the four preserved in our local storage to test out if our other stuff works we can say count equals 10 and when we hit save you can't see it here but there's 10 of these and i can actually get this to a smaller size so i can size equals 20 so you can see there's a lot more of them here so let's get this removed let's say we are not using flower here so let's say you want to use a different symbol like i have here so i have a site here open where you can copy paste different symbols and we can go to heart and select this one and we can just say icon equals to heart and it's immediately going to switch it back to heart and we can say color equals red and it's immediately going to change the color to red so you can see this also works for text-based icons and different colors and that's pretty much it so you can see how this is pretty versatile pretty customizable if you need more customization than this i would use a library there are a couple of different libraries that are very handy and they do have a lot more options but you may not need all of those options so for example there are options to half select an icon or to have they call it a precision so you can set the rating to let's say 3.5 that does require a bit more work if you want to set it up on your own which i do not recommend and that is it for today thank you for joining me in this tutorial my name is alex hope you liked it hope you learned something new if you did like what you saw here please give this video a like if you have any suggestions on what you would want to see next please leave a comment subscribe if you're new here and i will see you in the next one